So welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at a brand new game from Compass Games. Uh, this is America Bomber. Uh, it's Evil Queen of the Skies, Strategic Bombing of America, 1947 to 1948. Um, it's just put out by Compass Games, uh, and it is a Gregory Smith design. So, Greg Smith did the Hunters, the Hunted, Silent Victory, Night Fighter Race, Interceptor Race. Uh, this is a solitaire game. That, it's Evil Queen of the Sky. So think of the old B-17 Queen of the Skies. This is kind of just the reverse situation. So it's it's a kind of imaginary, hypothetical, you know, the war continued on. And these are extremely long-range um German bombers bombing um, effectively a lot, a lot of the east coast of the USA. So let's crack it open and see what we've got. Um, and like I said, primarily it's a solitaire game. So you've got your standard Compass Games box. We have some of the um, Bavia bomb. So this is like every single, <laughs> all their new games and everything like that. If you're interested. Uh, we have, alright, so we've got two D6 and a D10. You'll be rolling these on charts for different outcomes, depending what chart you're rolling on. We do have one piece of errata. America Bomber includes three double-sided player aid cards, not five, as stated incorrectly in the rules. So, as far as errata goes, <laughs> I, 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 hopefully the rules are complete. Usually they are, but that's nice that the errata is basically nothing. Um, so the rules. We've got a nice artwork on the front, and it is... Well, those aren't rules. Those are alternate history. So it's really 12 pages of rules at best. Uh, rules are organized. Most of this stuff is um, done in um, kind of a chronological order. Uh, there's some kind of pictures and diagrams, but a lot of it's text and it's usually very explanatory. It's This is not a complex system in any way. We do have here a whole bunch of these log sheets. They go from April 1947 down to July 1948. They're double-sided, uh, but it, this is the same thing. So as many pages as you have here, you have twice as many logs because it's front to back are the same. Um, so you'll fill out your whole sheet of where you're going, if you're on or off target, things like that. Um, this is, as Greg calls it, the, the dress-up doll. Um, this is where you're going to pin any medals that you win. You have your um, status um, tracks for any skills that you pick up. Um, your gunners that you have on your bomber, if they become aces, things like that. It, this is um, ancillary. You can use this if you want, uh, but it's fairly easy to just have it written down on a piece of paper if you were, didn't want to have all the counters out, if you were kind of in, in a tight for space or like on the go kind of a thing. You do have a new thing here, a little research track. As you advance up the research track, or you can research different items to get better um, technologies, which give you modifiers on different tables and charts, things like that. That is single-sided. This is a kind of strategic bombing map. Um, this is where you're based out of, and you'll be flying. Uh, I guess maybe not. You're probably just based out of here, uh, but you'll be flying. Uh, these look like targets, maybe. Hmm. Unsure, but you'll be flying through zones, making weather checks, making um, enemy intercept checks, things like that, dropping different bomb loads. But that's the map that you're doing that out of. And we have, all right, we got a couple of bits and pieces here. Let's figure out what we got. Sheet of counters. So, those are all, okay, these are our play aids. Okay, we'll get to the aircraft sheets in a bit. So this is our position chart. So this is presumably where we're getting, when we're being attacked by fighters. This is a display that you'll be familiar with if you've played anything like B-17 or Target for today. 
This is you in the middle. This is where the enemy is coming from, which direction. Um, if they, they're on special different approach vectors, they'll get modifiers or penalties to their attack rolls against you as you've tried to fend them off. That's single-sided. Here's a, just a chart. So we've got random events, serious wound resolution. And on this side, we've got landing in water or bailout, bombing results, bomb runs, landing charts, parachutes. Uh, just a play aid, for, like a reminder of our skill effects. That's actually quite nice. In some of these games, I feel like I'm looking at the rule book for this part. So having that on a chart, I enjoy. Uh, B1 interception. So these are your interception charts, what you're going to be intercepted by. Uh, you roll 2d6 for damage, and these are the damage results. And this looks like sub-charts. So if you take a hit in your electronics, you'll then roll on the electronics chart to see what gets damaged, if anything, kind of a thing. Aircraft damage listings. So this tells you, typically, you know, if your navigator gets killed, this is kind of the effect. Navigator, serious wound or KIA, then your bum run receives a plus one DRM, which is a bad thing. Things like that. But this is an explanation of the results of your damage. Uh, this is your... <laughs> this is funny. So this is your Amerikanische Zielliste. So this is your, um, your role on here, this is your target for today. Um, <laughs> there's a whole bunch it looks like. So I wanted to make sure... It tells you what zone they're all in, and it kind of tells you what they are and where they are as well. And then it goes October, January through March 48 as well. It looks like almost all of it's... Yep, okay. So there's a whole bunch, and so you'll roll on different charts depending on what month of your campaign that you're in. And then the last charts that we have are this, I believe it's six. We've got six planes. Yes, we do. Okay. So, let's... Okay. We'll start with these two. Because these two... Okay. So these are available at the start. And these are all... all a lot of these are fantasy, or they had, like, the most rudimentary of designs and weren't anywhere getting off the ground anytime soon. So this is uh, the, the Fogwell 300 America bomber. And so it's kind of what you'd expect. Y you've got um, spaces for damage markers for when you've got them. All your ammunition markers will go down here or if they get jammed, things like that. And then your crew is all over here. So. If your crew, if your tail gunner gets wounded, you put a wound marker here. So this is just a display for all the things that happen to you. Um, we have a Messerschmitt 364. So this is, yeah, six, six engines. So we, we're looking at, you know, super long range fantasy stuff here. So these are both available to fly at the start. Looks like this guy's got a lot more guns, but this guy can probably go further with all of his engines. I'll be interested to see what the difference is there. And on the back, this one's available from start, the Heinkel 277. Again, not many, m m not as many guns there. Um, so this one here, the Yunkers 390, six engines. This one's available from August 1947, so you can play a bit, then this becomes available to you. And then we get into, in December 1947, then a TA-400 becomes available. And we have the Arado E-5551 becomes available. And this is like a high-speed jet plane. You can ignore um, the first hits in certain zones. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. So this one's kind of zipping across, and it looks like the I don't know if all of them do. Oh no, it looks like most of them do. Yikes. So all of these have a number of bomb slots, but they can also hold A-bombs as well, so there'll be certain missions where you're trying to nuke places. <laughs> and the last thing we have in the box is a single uh, white core counter sheet. And we've just got a bunch of damage markers, uh, electronics damage markers, a lot, a lot of this stuff are just bits and pieces that you'll be putting on as markings. That's really a lot of what this is. Um, here's all your different medals you may or may not earn. 
this, these are kind of targets. When you're shooting enemies down, you assign, oh, you know, my, my ball turret on the bottom is going to shoot this guy. And so you take your ball turret, these guys don't have one, but your waist guns and your tail guns, you assign these counters to the, to the enemies, and that's how many dice you roll against that enemy, for example. These are your enemy fighters that, that you'll be, and that's all on, well, he says where I'll put it. The enemy fighters will be on different approaches, and you'll put those, these little gray markers. So I've got all three dice against this guy because I can shoot with my forward guns, my um, tail, you know, my waist guns, and maybe my, um, some ventral turret or something like that, you know. That's basically how that works. These are the guys you'll be shooting down. Um, these are your markers. Th these are the kind of markers that you will put on this as they move from zone to zone. And then it's just some wounded markers, all your different skills that you can pick up as experts or aces, things like that, that give you modifiers. A whole bunch of ammunition markers. Um, and again, it's things like accuracy, target zone, so it's just markers to put around to help you with the game. Um, high altitude, level, low for bombing runs, presumably, and just some just some numbered markers, which you can use for a bunch of different things. And maybe those are for the research track down here, potentially. Uh, but that's really it. These are, some of these are double sided for like damaged enemy fighters or different denominations of these numbers or ammunition or inoperable electronics and systems, things like that. But that's it. This is. Uh, that's what you get in the box. This is not by any means a serious game. It is not a historical game. This is a game just for, for fun. This is one of those passion projects from Greg that you just... It tells some stories, you chuck some dice, you have, have a laugh doing it. It's just a fun game. Um, I will I will play this and I will have Grant play this and we will compare notes to see how we do because typically my and me blaze of glory very very quickly when I play any of Greg's games but this is America Evil Queen of the Skies out from Compass Games now so check it out if you're interested just a fun solo game